Tis the season for mums, pumpkins, hot coffees, and time in the kitchen making warm, cozy, delicious foods. Well, hi friends, today we are spending a cozy fall day in the kitchen. I am excited to be here because it's finally cooled down. Woke up this morning and it was in the 50s after a several day stretch of 100s and then upper 80s. So we are gonna be in the kitchen today and this is also a fun video because it's a collab with Samantha at East Pine Home and she is doing some fall-esque cozy home things as well and doing a tablescape and she is hopefully finding some of her pieces out thrifting because I'm challenging her to go thrifting and I will be making one of her soups that's over on her blog at East Pine Home. So I'll put all that in the description box for you. Exciting too, lots of excitement in this video as we are doing a giveaway. So we will be giving away a handmade apron by Samantha and um, a wooden spoon and a candle and you can be part of this giveaway by subscribing or if you already are subscribed to our channels that works too and you have to comment below in my channel and on her channel. So definitely sign up to win this giveaway because we love you guys. We want to just share in our joy of fall by giving these items away to you. So if you're coming over from Samantha's channel, I'm so glad you're here. I do videos like these, simple and thrifted living, homemaking, motherhood, and I'd love to have you click that red subscribe button and join this YouTube community. And then don't forget, after you watch this video, if you're already part of my community, to go visit Samantha. So let's just go ahead and have a cozy fall day of baking in my lovely kitchen. I'm starting off the day in the kitchen with my sourdough sandwich loaf. This recipe actually derives from Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. I use a lot of her sourdough recipes. I just have learned to substitute my einkorn flour um, from Jovial that I get, and I just love the buttery richness. And to see what happens in the kitchen here while I am baking, my two little ones made a fort under the table. And there is always cleanup to be done while food is being made so I like to keep on top of that so while the bread is mixing in the mixer I get some dishes done and then I just will let the bread sit with some cling wrap over it for about eight to ten hours and it was a decently warm day and um, so it rose in about the eight to ten hours time frame now on to my next dish that I will be making and that is a rustic apple crisp. I love this recipe. I got it from my mom and I've even shared a whole individual video on this recipe um, here on YouTube, but it will also be over on my blog, davykillian.com, if you're interested in getting the printable version and um, being able to have that in your cookbook as well as for you to follow along to. But while I'm peeling those, I thought I should just make a fall simmer pot. So I'm just using some apple peels, some whole cloves, some cinnamon sticks, and oh my, does that smell good the rest of the day throughout my home. These apples were ones we picked from a friend's tree and I actually shared that in my last video on Tuesday. And so I'm just slicing those up. I have about four to six cups and this makes an eight by eight or a nine by nine, I believe, um, square pan. And then I'm adding all the ingredients, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some flour, and um, some organic cane sugar I have in there and then putting it in my baking dish and then it's time to make the delicious crumb topping. This is one of my favorite parts. Oh, and you can't forget to taste test everything. 
So I have some organic brown sugar, some flour, some oats. I do recommend quick oats. It makes the top a little more crumbly, but I had rolled. So that's what I used in a stick of butter. And it just is, again, a delicious topping to go over the yummy gooey inside of the crisp. So check out the recipe on my blog. All right, I'm putting my apron back on as we had some time outside. You know, as a homemaker and mom, you have to take breaks and intervals in time in the kitchen. I can't just be in there 12 hours of the day. We had to run outside, we had to play, I had to do a little bit of my homeschooling for my preschooler, but I am back at it with making a little zucchini bread. I had some frozen zucchini that I had shredded that I wanted to use up. And so this recipe is not anything in particular you could probably find. I just made it up a little bit, but I had the traditional nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, um, ginger in there, two cups of shredded zucchini, some flour, um, I may have used coconut oil for the oil in this one. I'm not 100% sure. And it fit into these two little loaf pans. I decided to add some crushed walnuts into one of the loaves and leave one plain because my girls probably would prefer it plain. And they baked deliciously and they came out beautifully and my girls had them for a snack that afternoon as well. And then the crisp was out too. A yummy crumbly top, just gooey on the sides and everything is just smelling delicious in my kitchen. On to supper time. I am making East Pine Farms recipe of the soup she recommended me to make. And um, she, she did tell me I could add any vegetables I had from the garden. So I am adding some extras, some garlic, some onion from the garden, some fresh green beans I had from my mom's garden because she's still getting green beans when I went to go visit them a while ago. And just kind of making it my own. So that's one thing with recipes, they're guidelines for me. So I don't always make things the same, but I'm sauteing those up and then I will add the garlic to saute in a little bit later with some olive oil. And then after that is all sauteed up, I needed my afternoon latte. So I had some maple flavoring I put in there with some froth milk and it just is that cozy fall smelling um, drink that I wanted with that maple and I kind of made a little heart out of it too. All right back to working on the soup. So I added a garden potato instead of butternut squash because I don't have those either. Like I said once you are a little more experienced on recipes you can kind of make them your own and I also did not use the beef bouillon it called for as I don't use that in my home, but I used water and I just seasoned it super well. When you cook from scratch, you can definitely tell you need to use more salt. So I did add um, a lot of salt in there and then a uh, bay leaf. And then I also went out and picked some fresh thyme that I have growing in one of my flower pots i just made sure it was seasoned well added some frozen celery i had and it turned out really deliciously so i highly recommend this soup and it's and you know what you can make it spread too i just warmed it up yesterday for leftovers and it added a little extra broth to it add a little extra ground beef that i had left from something else and i just made it last a little bit longer as leftovers too and surprisingly i had some quinoa leftover on hand too so that's a good filler and so this is a nice um pretty quick soup to make that you can check out on East Pine Home blog. All right, I wanted to make my table a little more fall 
um, inspired. So I am taking off my zinnias and just moving them to a different part of my kitchen because I still can't get rid of them. It's still, they're in bloom, so I got to enjoy them. But cleaning off the table a little bit and just going to make a fall inspired mini tablescape using some of the apples I still had left, one of my old bowls, and just making it something pretty to look at and functional at the same time. After adding the peas into the soup, my bread loaves were done. They weren't the most perfect looking loaves, but they still tasted delicious and very buttery from that einkorn flour. And they went so well as a side with our soup. And you'll see I serve the soup up with some crackers that we get from Costco. I love the sweet potato crackers and almond flour crackers. Some delicious cheeses that we get from Azure. And it's just, you'll see a beautiful um, meal that we have. But also, I love setting our table in our fine china. And I use these often. It's just so nice to sit and eat with nice things. My kids eat with them the same as my husband and I. And enjoying a little Zevia in our glasses as we don't drink. But it is just fun to kind of have some fancy things while we are enjoying a traditional meal as a family. And I'm so glad that we get to enjoy it together. And there is the soup. So delicious and yummy. And time to enjoy our apple crisp with some homemade heavy whipping cream whipped cream and that is the best way to do it it would be great with some vanilla ice cream as well but that whipped cream just was the topping to a delicious dessert Every day in the kitchen ends with some cleanup. I am starting our dishwasher and then just doing a little spot cleaning on the floor. This is pretty common for me to do a little spot cleaning as things fall, when you have littles, crumbs fall, wiping a few things up. And so I like to put my kitchen to rest for each evening, even if I have dishes drying, that's okay with me. And get the curtains closed and just enjoy the rest of the evening. So I hope you had a wonderful visit of me in the kitchen and that you are having a blessed fall. Don't forget to check out East Pine Home as she is doing a homemaking video as well. <music>